Hey guys, this is Victor over at Best Leather here. On the website, a lot of times we get asked by customers, you know, how can I best care for my uh, leather investments? You know, some of the stuff definitely costs a lot of money. You want to make sure you get the uh, maximum lifespan out of that. And one of the things with leather, obviously, is with wear and tear, the natural oils in it tend to dry out. A lot of times you'll hear the term pull up, which is the oils in the leather. And you can see, see how it kind of lightens up when you put stress on it. That's actually oils from the tanning process, and over time, and where those will get depleted. So, here we have a pair of Red Wings um, that I've had for a couple years now. And, you know, after a winter season, you know, the salt and the road grime and the mud and the water really does a, a number on the leather. So, that's when I like to get a leather conditioner, Chamberlain's Leather Milk. Uh, we sell it on the site. It's great stuff. We review and handle so much leather that, you know, we kind of had a chance to sample them all and there are some good ones out there but i just prefer chamberlain's i feel like it can it works the best on the most uh, different products so um the instructions are, are pretty simple um you just want to wipe it down first so if you have any surface debris i like to use an old horsehair brush just to kind of get any loose stuff off of it make sure you really get into the boot Just to make sure there's no dirt or grime that you're going to rub in when you apply the conditioner. Those look pretty good right there. So, and then, cool thing when you order these, Chamberlain actually supplies you with a uh, little applicator pad. So, this stuff here a little goes a lot away. So, I mean, this will last me a couple of months, and I'm cleaning way more leather than your average person. So, just a little little doll up there that's all you need and then just kind of want to work it into the shoe and you can see right away that nice shine and it's what it's doing it's rejuvenating all the oils inside of the leather and this will restore the not only the natural oils from the tanning process but it'll add a little more resiliency to the leather as well coming out real nice i mean you can see it almost immediately and when i when i do boots i like to take the laces out that way there you can really get inside the the tongue here and the gusseted portions and what you want to do is maybe give it about 10 minutes or so to dry and then after you do that, you'll just get like a dry cloth. Like a nice, you know, you can use microfiber. I have an old dish cloth. And if there's any excess, you'll just kind of want to buff it out. And it'll give it a nice mild sheen. And you, you can see right away, I mean, it looks so much better. I mean, before they're, they're dry and kind of discolored and scratched. And this just really rejuvenates the leather and makes them look good. And sometimes if you're in really harsh weather conditions, I'll throw a little bit of a beeswax on here. L.L. Bean makes a nice one. And it's just like a, you get clear coat, you dab it on, and you it'll definitely give the shoes a little bit more waxiness, but it'll add a an extra layer of protection if you're in wet weather. So it, if you don't really wear them out in the snow too much, I wouldn't bother. The, the chamber ones will be fine. So just a little brief how-to. Again, you don't have to go crazy, but the results are pretty good and I do this you know usually at the end of every winter and then right again before just to handle them up so thanks for watching remember Chambers Leather Milk is available on the site bestleather.org